Have you ever wondered how fish navigate the deep sea? Well, they have a secret weapon at their disposal, a biological phenomenon known as electroreception. This fascinating ability allows aquatic and amphibious species to perceive and act upon electrical stimuli, effectively turning the water around them into a sensory playground. Now, electroreception comes in two distinct flavors. First, there's passive electroreception, where animals can receive and decode the electric signals generated by other creatures. This allows them to sense the location of their fellow sea inhabitants, kind of like an underwater GPS. But some creatures take it a step further with active electroreception. These animals have special organs that generate their own electric signals on demand. This can be used for everything from mating signals and territorial displays to locating objects in the water. This gives them a real edge in the survival game. Indeed, for many marine creatures, the ability to detect and interpret electric signals is crucial for survival. What if you could sense the presence of other creatures without even seeing them? Now that's a thought to wrap your mind around. This isn't a page out of a science fiction novel, but a reality for many marine creatures thanks to a fascinating biological phenomenon known as passive electroreception. Let's dive a little deeper to understand what this really means. Passive electroreception is a form of sensory perception that enables marine creatures to detect electric signals generated by others around them. It's like having an inbuilt radar that constantly scans the environment for electric signals, painting a picture of what's going on, even in the absence of light. This might seem like magic, but it's pure biology. All living organisms generate electric signals, a byproduct of the activity in our nervous systems. For instance, your heartbeat, your brain waves, even the simple act of moving a muscle, all produce electric signals. In the aquatic world, these signals can travel through water, which is an excellent conductor of electricity. Imagine you're a fish in the deep sea. Light is scarce and visibility is near to zero. You're essentially swimming blind, but with passive electroreception, you're not completely in the dark. You can detect the electric signals from other creatures, giving you a sense of who or what is around you. You can sense a predator approaching or a potential meal swimming by without having to see them. But passive electroreception is not just about survival. It also plays a critical role in social interactions. Fish can detect the electric signals of their kind helping them to identify mates, recognize kin, or avoid rivals. So, while we humans rely heavily on our sense of sight, these marine creatures have evolved a whole different way to perceive their world. They may not see as we do, but their world is far from dark and silent. Through passive electroreception, they have access to a wealth of information that we can only dream about. With passive electroreception, marine creatures can sense the presence of others, even in the murkiest of waters. Now imagine not just sensing others, but also sending out your own electric signals. This is the fascinating world of active electroreception. It's a step up from passive electroreception, as animals not only perceive electric signals, but they also generate their own. And these signals aren't just random, they're special, and they're emitted on cue. Think of it kind of like a secret language, a Morse code of the deep. These signals can be used for a variety of purposes, from mating signals and territorial displays to locating objects in the water. It's a powerful tool in the ocean's murky depths, where visibility is limited and sound is distorted. Active electroreceptors are like the superheroes of the underwater world. They're equipped with the ability to differentiate between the various resistances that their electrical currents encounter. In essence, they can tell whether another creature is a friend, a foe, or something that's better left alone. This ability is crucial for survival in the ocean's uncertain environment. Imagine being able to tell whether that shadowy figure in the distance is a harmless fish or a predatory shark. With active electroreception, marine creatures can do just that. And it's not just about survival, it's also about strategy. This ability has a range of about one body length. It might not seem like much, but it's usually just enough to give its host time to react. Whether it's to dart out of the way of an approaching predator 
or to go in for the kill on unsuspecting prey, active electroreception provides the split-second advantage that can mean the difference between life and death. So, active electroreception isn't just about perceiving the world, it's about actively interacting with it. It's about sending out signals and interpreting the responses. It's about navigating the environment with precision and making strategic decisions based on the information received. Active electroreception gives marine creatures a unique advantage, allowing them to interact and navigate their environment with precision. It's a remarkable adaptation, one that showcases the incredible diversity and complexity of life in our oceans. Let's delve into a fascinating aspect of active electroreception, the jamming avoidance response mechanism. This intriguing adaptation has been observed among a group of creatures known as weakly electric fish. These fish, as their name suggests, generate weak electrical signals that they use for communication and navigation. But what happens when two such fish, each utilizing the same frequency, cross paths in the vast ocean? Do their signals get muddled, causing confusion and chaos? Not quite. Instead, something rather remarkable occurs. Each fish alters the frequency of its electrical discharge. This shift is not random, but a calculated move to ensure that their frequencies no longer overlap. It's like two radio stations adjusting their broadcasting frequencies to avoid interference and ensure clear communication with their listeners. Imagine you're at a party and everyone is talking at the same volume and pitch. It would be nearly impossible to distinguish one conversation from another. But if everyone adjusted their tone and volume, conversations could flow smoothly without interruption. This is essentially what these electric fish are doing. They're adjusting their conversations to avoid a jumbled mess of overlapping frequencies. This mechanism, known as the jamming avoidance response, ensures that the electroreception capabilities of these fish remain sharp and effective. It allows them to continue communicating, navigating, and sensing their environment without interference from others of their kind. It's a swift and peaceful resolution to a potential underwater conflict, demonstrating the remarkable adaptability of these aquatic creatures. Moreover, this mechanism is a testament to the complexity and sophistication of active electroreception. It's not just about generating and receiving electrical signals. It's also about the ability to modulate these signals in response to the ever-changing dynamics of the aquatic environment. It shows us how these creatures have evolved to use electricity not just as a sensory tool, but also as a means of communication and conflict resolution. Long before humans had to sort out frequency disputes, marine creatures had already perfected the art. Electroreception is not just for communication and navigation, it can also serve as a defense mechanism. Delving deeper into the underwater world, we find creatures like rays who have turned this extraordinary sense into a survival tool. Imagine a young ray embryo developing inside its egg case, securely attached to the seabed. The embryo keeps its tail in constant motion, pumping water to breathe through the egg's casing. However, this motion also generates electric currents which could potentially attract unwanted attention from predators. Here's where the magic of electroreception steps in. If the embryo's electroreceptors detect the presence of a predatory fish in the vicinity, it immediately ceases movement. By stopping its tail motion, it effectively stops transmitting electric currents, becoming virtually invisible to potential predators. But this stealth mode isn't activated by any passing marine life. The embryo has evolved to only react to signals characteristic of the respiratory movements of potential predators like sharks. This selective response helps the embryo conserve energy and remain hidden only when necessary. The use of electroreception as a defense mechanism showcases the remarkable adaptability of these marine creatures. By simply adjusting their electric outputs, they can hide in plain sight evading predators and increasing their chances of survival. Electroreception can be a lifesaver, quite literally, for these vulnerable marine creatures.
It's a fascinating example of how nature equips its inhabitants to thrive in the most challenging environments. Finally, let's talk about the masters of electroreception, sharks. These incredible creatures have evolved to become experts in using electric signals to their advantage. Sharks are well known for their acute sense of smell with two-thirds of their brain dedicated entirely to their olfactory organs. But their hunting prowess doesn't stop there. As a shark approaches its prey, it switches from using its olfactory senses to its electroreceptive capabilities. This allows for precise location tracking even in the murkiest of waters. It's almost as if they have a built-in GPS for the sea, guiding them to a successful strike on their target. Their electroreceptive sense is so strong that as they prepare for the kill, they let their eyes recede for protection, essentially attacking blind. Sharks have specialized organs called the ampulli of Lorenzini, tiny pores on their snouts filled with a jelly-like substance that conducts electricity. These organs help sharks detect the electric fields produced by other animals, allowing them to identify potential prey, even when hidden in sand or concealed by darkness. So the next time you're in the ocean, remember, you're swimming in a world of electric signals, a world that marine creatures navigate with ease thanks to the incredible power of electroreception. It's a fascinating and complex world beneath the waves, one that sharks have mastered with their extraordinary electroreceptive abilities.